good morning um today was a busy day i did a lot actually so so far today i got my windows tinted finally um summer's coming up and i'm pregnant and i just didn't want to be in a car that's like so hot and i can't touch anything in the car it's just i just wasn't gonna do it so i got my car tinted early in the morning i spent some time with my parents in la um and then i am currently on my way running i'm running errands before i head home right now because i'm out of the house anyways but right now i'm heading to the container store for the first time um yeah for the first time <laughs> Last time I went to Home Goods and I was able to find pieces for um, organization, for like fridge and things like that, but I wanna get the legit stuff. Like I was almost gonna order some things off Amazon because I saw a TikTok of <laughs> um, someone doing like, showing their fridge organization. They just might have as much stuff as me, but it just looks 20,000 times cleaner. Yeah, they just are able to save so much room that way. Right now, I've just randomly decided like, um, no, right now is the time, today is the day. Let's organize this fridge. I'll kind of just, you know, show you guys what I'm thinking about buying. There's valet there, so I won't have to carry anything back and forth in case you guys are wondering or worried. Um, I want to start off little by little. I don't want to get everything done at once. So, yeah, my goal today is to not spend over a hundred dollars. Let's see if I can keep that. stuff i got i'm gonna oh yeah i bought these slides at target the other day they were like 15 dollars they're like easy knockoffs but so comfortable okay so let me turn the light on so i did get a few things from the container store guess how much i spent i did really well i spent 150 okay after tax so I think I did a really good job. The limit I set for myself today was 100. And given that every, almost every single item is like 15 to 20 dollars, I know it's really expensive for these plastic containers. I don't know why, but they are. I think I did a fairly good job. First thing I picked up was this large berry bin. You could do berries, you could do veggies inside together even. Um, I honestly wouldn't care, I don't think it really matters. Okay, next I got, I got this small berry bin. So we have blueberries right now. Honestly, I think the strawberries and the blueberries would fit in one of these. So I might just use the large berry bin for veggies. Yeah, I don't know yet, I don't know yet. If I have a, a vegetable saver already, I got this for my business, that's not relevant. but. I got one of these in the TikTok video. The girl has like her sauces, like her salad dressings and stuff on a turntable like this, a small one. So I got one of these. It was like $10, $15 at the most. Okay, and I also got one of these fridge bins. I got the bigger one. I'm not sure if I want to get the smaller one instead, but I do get Topo Chico's, which is like sparkling water and it's a long bottle i don't even know if it's gonna fit in this okay i've been putting this off for such a long time but i think one of the things that you notice in someone's fridge where you're like okay this person really cares about fridge organization or whatever is a freaking egg holder <laughs> this shit is so expensive i think the this one that I picked up was like $17 or something. It's a dozen because I 
oh it's for 14 so 14 eggs I usually get a dozen pack so this is perfect like let's say there's two left in the last one and I could just put them in um, I don't ever go over that so this is perfect and I just bought eggs so it's gonna look good inside <laughs> I also grabbed I saw that th they had this for like cosmetics on Amazon and it's like two for 20 this one itself was like 20 I want to say 24 or 21 dollars it's a large fridge bin it's supposed to hold everything inside I think this will be very cool once we have the baby too you know we can put baby stuff inside um, it'll be clean and away from everything else but for now I think I want to use it to store anything that's like that needs to be cold like packets of stuff I don't know Oh no, we'll see. I have it over my fridge. I also got these glass jars. Um, obviously, I'm going to wash them before I use it. But they were only like $10 each. I'm going to put cookies in here. I have these coconut cookies that I really, really like from Costco. Um, and there's also these Hawaiian cookies that I really, really like from Costco that I don't have right now. But I might restock on that in my next run. I regret not getting it the last time I went. But I got two of these because everything is better in double. Um, I got two of these and they're going to go next to my cereal containers. I also bought this huge um, pantry organizer. This one is not for the fridge, but it is a pantry organizer and it's going to have all the snacks inside that I have. Yeah, I want to show you my snack, my snack row. So this is what it looks like right now. You can't find anything in here. You would have to dig ages. If we put this in there, it's easy in and out and it'll just be so much easier to get stuff. Yeah, look at that. Oh my God, ew. As far as organizing the other stuff, um, I'm gonna, I think I wanna slowly develop the house. I don't think I wanna spend like $20,000 on one day, like God forbid. You see those shoes in the back? I wanna get shoe containers for those too. So everything is like neatly put away. It's not like in your face um, and everything just everything on here I think belongs in a container um, But as of right now, we are slowly getting there. Let me start organizing my fridge and I'll show you guys what it looks like after you want to see what it looks like right now I don't even want to show you because I feel like even after I do some of the Container stuff right now. It's still gonna be really messy but anyways, this is what it looks like right now. It's an absolute mess. I don't know what's going on. You see, everything is just everywhere. I can't find anything everywhere. Look at the salad dressing just hanging out. And like this ketchup is just too big to fit in my fridge. Hi guys. Okay, so I have not shot in a while. <laughs> Currently, I'm 26 weeks. It's been hectic. I am literally so busy every day trying to run a business, trying to, you know, take care of myself, go to these appointments. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the hospital every two weeks now or seeing my OBGYN every two weeks now. And it's just going so fast, 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 fast. Everything is so fast. I'm wearing a dress, by the way. But yeah, so I'm preparing for my baby shower. My best friend is flying in from Korea on Monday. So you guys will see her. She is gonna be here for her sister's graduation, but also my baby shower, which is next week. So I've just been go, 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 trying to find vendors, trying to find, you know, every X, Y, and Z. And you know, my friends are gonna help me run the show. So I'm just preparing everything for that. That reminds me, I have to let, so my aunts are also helping me run this. So I have to let them know. I was trying to find a pizza chef that could come and make pizza, stone-fired pizza um, But it was so hard because everyone was booked like it was I didn't know people book that much ahead of time Like I was trying one month ahead of time and then you know I started getting no's and then it became two weeks into it And I had two weeks left and my last resort I ended up picking this wonderful lady who I think she's actually like an Italian chef and she is just starting out she has no Yelp reviews or anything like that so my fingers are crossed that she's gonna be amazing and her food's gonna taste amazing that's all we need and I just got a package from forward so one of the other things that I had to stress about for this baby shower was what I was gonna wear and what shoes I was gonna wear so I decided that I want to do something comfortable. So 
I was thinking maybe like a jersey dress something of that sort and I was just thinking about it I was like you know what I officially decided to get this normal Norma Kamali I am pretty into this brand right now especially during my pregnancy because nothing fits um, everything has to be like stretchy and you know of that sort so currently I am very much into Norma Kamali they make a lot of pieces with like jersey fabric so this is what it looks like this is the dress so I got this in a size small and everyone said online that it comes in a big size like it comes very big and my stomach is definitely gonna be okay in this um, the arms are bracelet length which is perfect and the fabric is so nice it's like a it's not jersey it's like a you see this fabric right here you know what I mean uh, yeah, you could see the cutting that they did right there. Yeah, the stitching is amazing. Really not bad. Um, if you guys don't know, Forward is doing like 10% off for everyone's like first purchase. And I didn't really have anything I wanted to buy off there, like a bag or a wallet or whatever. So I just used it for this dress piece. I'm gonna have to get to work. Hello! Hi, Alex. Okay, so I just had lunch. It was not very good, but... <laughs> Anyways, this is my party planning um, sketch, which I realized that all party planners do, like party design people do. So, this is gonna be the dessert table. We're not balloons. I think I'm gonna actually just move these Balloon stand through the entrance. We're gonna have someone come in and do a balloon garland with like a photo backdrop. My friends are coming to take pictures. And we're gonna do like balloons on the ceiling, on the floor. We're gonna have an arts and crafts table. These are, one of them is kind of like for me, for our baby keepsake. We're gonna hang something in our room. On the other side, we're gonna have a party favor section where people can make their own pot their own succulents and then take them home it's just gonna be something to do for everyone and then pizza is gonna be like personalized pizza you can choose what pizza you want so yeah i am super excited um i think i'm gonna fill up the floor balloons the day of Anything that's air filled I can do the day before um, but all of the helium stuff we're gonna have to do the day of so yeah. So I just got back from working on some business stuff and now I am opening packages. One of the few packages that we've been getting. We've been getting so much love. Um, a lot of baby stuff is coming in right now. I can't wait to do a haul video on that. But we put up our registry and people answered and um, they literally bought us everything that we need off our registry. I'm so thankful. But I just got these in. These are compression socks. Never did I ever think that I would need these, but my swelling is so bad on my legs and my feet. And we are gonna be taking a flight next week. It's gonna be my first flight since getting pregnant. I heard that if you swell a lot, being in an airplane for X, Y, and Z many hours is not gonna be any different. Uh, it's gonna be even worse. So I got compression socks. These have really good reviews, so hopefully they work. So I'm literally in three different colors, just in case I need to match them with my outfit. <laughs> okay, so some foil balloons. These are star shaped, and some labels for the pots that I bought for our succulent station. Um, people are going to be able to write a little something that they want to write on this. I also got a dress from Naked Wardrobe. I bought this in a size large. Um, so I've heard that their stuff comes out small. This was like my backup dress if the normal Kamali doesn't really look good. I haven't tried it on so you know, I don't really know. I need to try it on today though so I can make a decision before next week so I can have a little peace of mind. I just got this dress. Hoping it would be long enough to be a maxi but it's a midi. Okay, yeah, thank God I got the large. God, this is tiny. Okay, now for... This package, I ordered something from Stuffs. I got a Blanqui 
I bought this to wear as inside slip for my dress. It's a maternity camisole. I'm expecting it to be really hot the day of my baby shower. So this will help me tons. It seems a little short. I'm so confused. It's supposed to be long, like a dress. Shit, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. Okay, cool. So, this is a baby lettered out box. I don't know if you guys have seen them for baby showers and stuff, but usually people get the clear ones. I got one that's all white, and then we can put the gold lettering on top. I got some blue ribbon to decorate the placeholder for my baby shower sign. I get all of my baby shower inspo stuff off of Pinterest. So, and I really liked how they did the cotton right here at the ribbons hanging off the sides. So I got basically the exact same ribbon. And here are my cloth balloons. Oh yeah, these are big. This is what it looks like. Cloud balloons. These will be on the ceiling. Okay, there's another box. Hold on. I'm gonna have people do their thumbprints on a thick paper, poster paper. I don't know. My friend Rimsky is gonna take care of it. I'm so out of touch with like the art side of things. Here is a balloon centerpiece thing that I'm gonna do for the entrance um, of the party yeah starting next week it's grind time for the baby shower okay hopefully everything comes together i just like it's so much pressure and anxiety because <laughs> everyone we know is coming everyone we know and love is coming so it's like i don't know i don't know <sighs> i'm probably gonna wake up at like 7 a.m take a shower do my makeup I don't know, it's just, it's crazy. I don't know what's going on. But help me run the show. I just gotta break it down to him. He's really good at listening. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm done ranting um, for today. <laughs> but yeah, we just, I just got so much to do before we leave for New York on Tuesday. So, we will see.